Hello and welcome to this very quick tutorial. So today I wanted to share with you how I use the quick menu in Procreate and I use it quite a lot and the main actions that I've got in my quick menu is all the different kinds of brushes that I use. So instead of going to the brush here and looking for the brush that I want to use, I just do a four finger tap and then you can see all of these brushes here that I use a lot and I've got another quick menu. So these are the brushes that I use like in the first instance of my illustration, like a sketching brush and a filler brush and also a shading brush is here. And some of these brushes are a bit more textured to give my illustration texture. And then in my second quick menu, I've also got all kinds of brushes but these are brushes that I don't use as much. So for instance, a crosshatch stamp or a fine dust stamp, which just does some little speckles. Um, these brushes I use mainly when most of my illustration is done and I would just want to add some more interest. So I've also got another action here. This, this is liquify and I use that to, let me see, I think that didn't work. Yes, now I use that to push um, my sketch, for instance, or some color blocks that I want to, I will just undo that, um, that I want to, you know, push into another shape. So, like I just said, I mainly use brushes with my quick menu, but you can do all kinds of actions um, that you use on a regular basis in Procreate. So let me show you how you can set up your quick menu. You just go to the wrench icon, then tap gesture controls. And here you've got all kinds of options. And as you can see, mine is already on quick menu. And here you can customize it. So I use mine with a four finger tap, but you could also, I don't know, set it to Apple Pencil double tap or touch and hold. So that's up to you, what you like best. Then I hit done. Now, as I already told you, you can have multiple quick menus. I've got two and I had three, but I realized that I didn't use the third one at all. So I just keep it at two menus. But you, of course, have to find out for yourself. Maybe you can work with three or four or even six or eight quick menus. Now to create a new quick menu, you have to tap on the plus sign here and here is my quick menu 3. I will tap that and as you can see now there is no action in all of these little rectangles here. Now to set up an action I just tap that and hold it and by default it goes to no action and this is in an alphabetical order so I will just have a look at all these different options and maybe I could set it up with alpha lock or I don't know erase fill layer I will just use fill layer now to demonstrate that so now this action is set up with fill layer and if I tap that the canvas should be filled with this color yes and it is now let's see I can set up another action here. Again, it goes to no action, so you might have to look here to find the action you want to use. Um, ah yes, something else I wanted to show you. The brush goes with this little arrow here, the select brush. So you can tap that and then you can access all of your brush sets and just maybe, I don't know, go into that <laughs> These are my own brushes, which are not very carefully named. So let's go to the Lisa Glance ones. They are much better named and I don't know, I just use the quirky shading detail. Yes, and that's it. Now to delete a quick menu, you just go to, uh, you just swipe it to the left and then hit delete. I'll just undo that oh, pink here. And um, over time, I think I've been using this quick menu for maybe three, four, five months now. 
And I've changed a lot of the brushes um, during this time to find my perfect setup. And I still think I haven't found it yet. Um, but what is really helpful about having your brushes in here is that you are also reminded of which brushes you like and want to use in your illustration. So there are some that I always use, but sometimes I go into Quick Menu 2 and I think, oh yes, I forgot, totally forgot to use the Shy Canvas and I really like the look of it. Yes, so that's about it. I hope you found that helpful and um, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Bye!